And there was another couple, they were nervous. They were from Southern California and they said, you know, I don't know if we can do this. And I said, don't worry, it only takes about 10 minutes, my standard story. And as I was taking them to their room, um, someone was in the jacuzzi and they go, Jim, Sheila, is that you? <laughs> she goes, that's my realtor. <laughs> Did you push record? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into our second act with Paige and Silka. For your second act of life. Hey, Silka. Hi, Paige. Today, just a very quick discussion with you. <laughs> I have a question for you. <laughs> have, you get on. <laughs> have you ever wanted to go to a nudist resort? Hmm. I can say my choice has been, I like being on a beach in Europe and being nude. I don't know if that's different than a nudist resort, but there's something about just being on a nude beach and feeling like, okay, this is great. But going to a nudist resort, I don't know. Yeah. Well, today I'm going to take you to a nudist resort. Me? I'm okay. going to take you. <laughs> and what I found really interesting is that it seems like the majority of the people there are in their 50s and 60s, and many of whom are there for the first time. So it kind of makes you wonder, maybe they're trying to finally not be so connected to what their body looks like on the outside, but be more free as to how they feel on the inside. Yeah. Clothing yeah. optional. <laughs> well, let's go to our interview with the new owner of the Terracotta, as well as the former proprietor who's now back as manager, and see you know what goes into the decision-making process of going to a clothing optional resort. Okay, here we go. I'm tagging along. <laughs> One of the things that, that I observed that I found so interesting about this whole topic is that how the medium, medium age, average age at clothing optional or nudist resorts is actually like between 50 and 60. Yes, I, I would agree with that. What we're finding is um, people who are booking vacations, who are booking one week, two week vacations, or who are coming during the middle of the week, then yes, they are people who are in their 50s, 60s, even 70s. Describe the typical guest. The mass body of people who come here are really positive, terrific people. It tends to attract an educated group. I think it's couples that are people that are more comfortable in their relationship and in their own skin that have the nerve to try it. The folks who come here in a clothing optional resort is going to attract that kind of clientele, an open-minded clientele. One of the things our guests all tell us is that once they come here, they end up making so many friends. And that's because unlike if you went to a regular hotel, you don't necessarily talk to the people on the chairs next to you. But here you feel like, oh, is this your first time? Have you gone other places? What do you think of it? They're engaging people. They strike up conversations easily. Um, and so people will make friends quickly. How, how would you create, uh, describe the atmosphere here differently than what you might find at a nude beach, if that's what you're thinking of trying it for the first time? Okay, I always tell people when they call, never, if you're taking your wife or girlfriend, never go to a nude beach for your first experience. There is no screening. We get so many calls from guys who say, I took my wife to so-and-so nude beach. It was terrible. She hates it. Now she's never, ever going to try it again. Because, again, if you have a bad nude experience, you think everything's the exact same way. What are the, what are the biggest misconceptions about a clothing optional resort? Um, one of them, um, that they'll be looked at a lot, or they're going to be scared, and they're going to really need to cover up. The woman normally is the one who's more vulnerable and who's much more nervous than the gentleman. Not always, but most of the time. Uh, I would say a lot of the women are very nervous for their first time. They think it sounds like a fun idea, but then when they come to actually doing it, they're really nervous. But what I tell them is it's only going to feel weird for the first 10 minutes. They never believe me. They have that fear of the unknown, and so you want to help them get over that fear of the unknown. Once they come here, they all say, you know what? It was weird for the first 10 minutes, and then it was like no big deal. Oh, it's like 
everybody's new. There's people of all shapes, sizes, ages, everything else. And then they feel completely comfortable. Another misconception, it's not a sexual experience. How do you keep, you know, the whole sexuality out of it? Like when I walk around here, this is not about sex. No. No, and you know, partially I also think people who are in their 50s, 60s, 70s are more mature than people who are age 20. People think we're all, if you tell people in the city what we're doing, they think that we're all having sex all the time. <laughs> and I think they're pretty disappointed when we tell them it's just a nice place to get an all over tan. So John, when, when, you, you know, when you're on the phone, you get phone calls, you get, get phone calls obviously from a lot of first timers. Sure. What, what are the most prevalent questions? Hmm, nudity being required, um, and we tell people it's not. What kind of questions do you get or, or that women want to ask, maybe that they're afraid to ask that we could answer today? Well, they're just afraid to do it is basically it. But what we tell them is we truly are a clothing optional resort. Clothing optional in and of itself is what it implies, correct? That's right, that's right. And different resorts, they're all run a little differently. So you can do it gradually if that would make you feel comfortable. You know, maybe just go topless the first time. If you want to wear a beach wrap, it's okay. If you want to wear a bathing suit or just go topless sunbathing, it's okay. Maybe when you come out of the room, you have a wrap around you, but then when you go lay by the pool, you have go, go without your clothes. When you come here, you don't have to be nude. And whatever works for you is what we want you to do. So that gives people a lot of, especially the women, a lot of confidence to try it. There are places where nudity is required. Um, anywhere on the pool deck area, anywhere in the hot tub is required. And So when you say required, like you just, there's like a nudity police? <laughs> yeah, it sounds funny. In, in a way, there is where, you know, uh, that's not a police per, uh, with, with a uniform, but uh, someone perhaps naked would come up to you, tap you on the shoulder, and say, and, and no, I'm not making this up, and say, no, I'm sorry, uh, nudity is required in the pool or in the pool deck. So again, speaking to the first timers, which is probably the majority of our audience, <laughs> um, any, any antics, any, any Anything else you can share that might put them over the edge, so to speak? Feel comfortable? Well, I have, um, there was one woman, she was just so nervous on the phone, just so nervous, and she said, I have a feeling that this is a sin. <laughs> and Tom answered her back and said, you know, why don't you talk to your minister, because she's a good church member, and why don't you ask him or her what what they think of that. And so she did, it was a him, and he said, you know, you're just laying in the sun, you're just sitting there, there's nothing else going on. She goes, no, that's all that would go on. He goes, I don't think it would be a sin. And she was so happy that he said that would be okay. <laughs> People that would say, oh my God, I could never do this. What would you say to that? Give it a try, really, really give it a try. Oh, with family and friends, I just say, you don't know until you try it. Don't judge me until you try it. You only have one life. And if this is something you really wanted, or you really want your most romantic vacation ever, just do it. Well, Tom, it's been a pleasure talking to you. We're going to talk to you some more. We're going to you know, hang out and maybe talk to some of your guests as well. And as you see, Tom is very easy to talk to. And he personally answers the phone probably 90% of the time. Yep, I would agree. Yes, correct. Yeah. And uh, if you missed it, the earlier part of the interview, it's actually a requirement that you call because the, Tom wants to make sure that you are coming to a place that's right for you. So do call. We have all of the information in the video description below, and we will see you next time on Our Second Act with Paige and Silka. haven't already done so be sure to subscribe to our channel and for more information on living your life to the fullest after 50 visit our website secondact.tv see you next time bye bye